Right, hello everybody, welcome to game number three now, is it, of Herb Dirt Base Base Base. Finally got an apple. Um, just remember to get an apple against a Lizardman team. He's got all his skills on Skinks, which is good, because they're shit. Uh, 11 players. And he's 2 on 0. Interesting. Right, so can't afford a wizard, unfortunately. Babe is unlikely to be relevant. All right, I'll try to get lucky. Seeing as I'm basing people, <laughs> just oh no, I'm gonna get knocked out, aren't I? If I uh, if I'm basing people against lizard men, let's get a babe. I've never known a babe do anything. Let's get a bribe. <laughs> yeah, Valene. All the rules are thrown out the window when you herb dirt base, base, base. Could have had a chainsaw, I guess, but um, I hate chainsaws. Shame I didn't have 10 more K in the bank to scum a wizard. If I hadn't got that the apple, I would have had a wizard, wouldn't I? Which would have been, you know, fantastic. Right. I'd just receive and try to crush him. Even though lizard men are best on defense. Um. I've got the bribe, haven't I? So I can just try to get fouls in and hopefully win. Oh yeah, line on the tackle, yeah. <laughs> no, I couldn't afford it, could I? 13, yeah, I could have I don't think it's a good idea though. <laughs> Could have got a troll, couldn't I? For 140. That would have been alright. <coughs> I couldn't have a black oil. I could have had a, a lineman with a with a skill. Um but yeah, receiver the bribe. Insert dominance. I B L G F. Yes, yeah, so I don't have any. Uh, I'm prepared for the two-hour game incoming. But oh man, I forgot I haven't played. Uh, I haven't played the old Crusaders Lost Idols today. I'm an idiot. I haven't played Idle Heroes forever. <gasps> forever? Well, not forever, but for a long time. BLGM get based. <laughs> Normally, if, if someone says, hi, have fun, I'll say you too. But if someone says, good luck, have fun, I'm not going to say you too. <laughs> That's a great name, that BZL. I'm jealous. I'm jealous of that, I tell you. Right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can GFI to hit with Mighty Blow? <laughs> now I'm just going to hit a. Hit a. Uh, it's pretty tricky, isn't it? This is pretty tricky. Just quietly. Right, 
Mutants here, he can score. <laughs> oh, fuck off, Fash. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, two dice block without block. Not Nothing safer in Blood Bowl. It's Fash. Throws up in his mouth a little bit. <laughs> pickup don't I? Do I go for the pickup next? Or do I make these two dice blocks? I guess I want to make two dice blocks more than I want to do pickups. Oh god. Huge. Huge KO. Just want to make this one safe with block now. Because there's no, I can't make a blitz, can I really, with him? <laughs> right. One assist foul? Seems a bit shit. Got the bribe though, haven't I? But then, do you know, safe move first would be going here, which would be really nice. Yeah, I think that's what I do. No foul this turn. For shame. I don't want to let him base the ball. He wouldn't be basing the ball, he'd be basing him. So he is fine. Harder to hit with skinks, isn't he? Here. Yeah. yeah. If I mean, well, why didn't he apple that? Because he's probably not giving his all to try to win this game, is he? Um, that is the thing with Jam Sladder. I mean, I guess at this stage, you probably should be giving your all to win the game. Um, first few games, but they, you know, maybe he wants to save. An apple for a Kaz or a Perm, I do have Mighty Blow to hit with every turn, so. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, it don't. <laughs> lizard men, lizard men versus orcs. I feel as a lizard man that I can just never ever lose. <laughs> so I need to get pretty lucky. And one of the ways is by making removals. So, it's pretty good. Probably capital F, Fashbinder. You should know what your name is. So I'm 
exposing a blitzer here, which is not what you want to do, because you don't want your blitzers based. You know, you want your blitzers free to roam around. So it's not ideal. But I wanted a mighty blow hit. <laughs> And I also want to foul, so I wanted the lineman free, because even though I've got a bribe, bribes can fail. He's got a pretty easy hit on the ball here. He shuts down the ball hit at the cost of this. Good foul. Didn't get sent off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not going to win this one on my little game. No. Seventy percent, not bad, Fash. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it was a decent foul as well, wasn't it? Three assists. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it, BZL? How like how there's people who who sub even. Like, watch loads and sub, and they never say anything in chat. Like me? Yeah, yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Some people are just local. Yeah, and there's some people who are very vocal, you know, <laughs> don't watch that much, but they come in and they're like, rah, 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 rah. And there's people who watch loads and don't say anything. Yeah, it's funny. Funny old game. I really, really want to block with him just to get him away from there, but then if I follow, I can't blitz the skink. We all love to blitz skinks, don't we? I think I have to just block with Block. Hit the skink here. Mighty blow. Just kill the skins, easy. Getting a bit scary now as I'm getting compacted into this sideline here, aren't I? Oh. Has to be done. Really want to pow now because I don't want to give away a block. Oh no, I'm, I'm hooked up based. That's a, that's a surfed off blitzer, isn't it? Maybe I should re-roll it. Turn three, but... I should just push him to a different square. I could have pushed him there, couldn't I? Oh, well. So, this bribe, all it achieved was it cost me positioning. Um, and yeah, I should have pushed him to there. And he just, no, yeah, he couldn't have surfed so easily there, could he? Oh, I pushed, just pushed him to the wrong square. Oh. 
It'd have been a lot harder though. It's a lot. It's way easier to surf here, isn't it? Surfing like this is automatic. Um, there it'd have been harder, a lot harder to surf, a lot harder, basically impossible. I mean, it would have been a dodge, which which to me is basically impossible. <laughs> Maybe he's not going to surf. Oh, wow. Not surfed anyway. So, my bad play of the miss, miss, misplay with a push square is not punished. So that's, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's a misplay by him not surfing, so I got away with mine. <laughs> I can go back to the Senate now, it's only turn three. No more fouls, so that's good. Fouling achieved absolutely, absolutely nothing, but at least the bribe didn't fail, so that's, that's good, isn't it? Right, it's definitely just blitz the crocs here. Okay, so this is this is a nice play, and I'll tell you why it's a nice play, because I'm making it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's not the reason. Um, I've got to make this one first, which is a shame, but it's okay. It's a pal. The bad thing is I don't get the follow up. The good thing is. I get to strand the crocs on alignment now, don't I? Whether it's a push or a pal. He's now on a, on a line up. plenty of time right. hopefully he boneheads even if he doesn't bonehead the fact he's stranded on a on a lineman is ideal for me isn't it absolutely ideal Yeah, maybe I can outrun his 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 players that cost the same same amount of, as my strength four players, and have two more movement than them. <laughs> it seems it seems like a, it seems like a nice fair matchup, doesn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, he made he made a GFI to hit there with his black orc. Oh no, no, he's got movement left. <laughs> They're like Shawnee black orcs, aren't they, lizard men? <laughs> and black orcs aren't even bad starting players. Oh, they are edge too. Yeah, that does let you do some sweet passing plays. That, as we all know, are the basis of high-level blood ball play. <laughs> Um, right, I'm just going to blitz with my e blow. One, two, three, four, five. So, 
we don't have to use him at one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try and do all the safe moves first. safe because it's with block. Uh, Brilliant. <laughs> um, but that's it's kind of enough, isn't it? You can block the other one free, which is a bit of a pain. <laughs> oh, and there's another double skull. Good. Hello, oh, Punch Ordeal. <laughs> Good, good job I did the safe moves first, as the two blocks that I made were both double skulls. <laughs> so look on the bright side, eh? Look on the bright side. <laughs> whisper, whisper. Up, up, beep, beep, beep. Oh, maybe I should have moved this lineman first, but I did want to see if, I, if this was a push or a pal. Um. I just wanted to see if it was a push or a pal first. That was the thing. If it was a push, I'd push him to here, follow base here, and then this guy moves around. If it's a pal, then he goes into base this guy. So it wasn't, it wasn't really, maybe I could have just made the safe move here. Maybe I could have just made the safe move here anyway. But I did want to move him in um, if it wasn't. Then he would have had to block with a crocs to free up his Saurus. But he's, uh, as it is, he gets to block with his Saurus to free up the crocs. I mean, that was a really horrible double skull. There. Really, that was a really horrible double skull because, you know, I was last turn I was celebrating isolating his crocs ago on a lineman. <laughs> Tooted my own horn as it being a great play. And then he just simply, with thanks to a double skull, gets his crocs ago free. Yeah, Norse, Norse. That's that's really, that's really unlucky, isn't it? <laughs> that was a really, that was a really bad double skull. <sighs> yeah, Vobie's in Kulda, but the thing is that you know, if you get mighty blow, you just kill other teams, you know, because it's you get easy, you get a bunch of two dice and. If you've got a block guard, Saurus that gets isolated, it's horrible. It's a nightmare to get a block guard Saurus isolated. However, if you get a, yeah, but I mean that's okay. Like a block guard Saurus is a good player, you know. So it's it's okay that they take so long to level. People would make that argument about players, you know, saying, oh, if I go mighty blow first, if I go mighty blow before guard, it get level quick, and it's like, yeah, but if you got block guard, you're really good anyway, you know. Um, but the thing is, if a if a if a block guard lizard man gets Saurus gets isolated, he is terrible, absolutely terrible. That is a nightmare scenario to get your block guard Saurus isolated. Whereas if your block mighty blow Saurus gets isolated, at least he just smashes somebody with mighty blow. So um, yeah, I don't hate it. Ooh, we made a one. Oh, he's got a skin right there. Wow, it's terrible. Oh, he deserved that. I mean, that doesn't even count as double skulls. That was, that was hideously bad. <laughs> um, wow. Wow. Um. 
Mm. I want to make the blitz with blocks so that because I can't I can't run around here, can I? Um, Fuck off! So he just needs to stand up. He needs to stand up. He needs to base. Um, he needs to come across. Good. bit of a pickle here, aren't I? Because I do have to try and get forward to score at some point. Obviously going to blitz with my ego. Three players on two. Pretty good. Oh my god, mighty blow. Gets a Kaz. He's happy he saved his apple. Insta Apple, whatever it whatever it was, he didn't Apple. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, no, no, not against Wood Elves. You can only, you can only hand off... To, ah, yeah, you can... If you've got a sure hand, Saurus, it's pretty good. Like, plus add sure hand, Saurus, it's actually pretty good against Elves because you can, you can spare one from the fight, but without that, you just need to hand off when you're completely dominating. Is the... Is the thing. Let's not be nasty to the coaches. You know, you can you can do lots of things. Oh, he brings in the assist this time. Not not like last turn where he just made a one random one D turn the turn. to move forward the full the full six this turn and, and that's going to be a little bit tricky um, he can base this guy and he can base there <laughs> and he can base there God. I've got a blitz. I've got a blitz without my ego here. But it does the job. And that job is getting somebody who doesn't have to GFI to get forward.
what about this guy? This guy I've got to reroll. So this guy can try to get out in front to stop the skink hit. Right. Maybe I should have based that skink. Maybe I should have helped out base, base, base. Right, three, four, five, six in range. That, that Kaz, though, I can't believe he didn't apple that. That is outrageous. I mean, you either apple the, you apple the Saurus or you apple the Crocs, don't you? So obviously he's just pixel hugging, which is bizarre on a team that's only played three games. Literally all 1Ds were schools, yeah, that's true, yeah, pretty good. Fash would love it. Uh, the Orcs are 3-0, oh, I think, or 2-0, oh, so I can't remember. <laughs> it's been fun, though. Oh yeah, the humans. The, yeah, the humans got diced to hell. Yeah. Is it only two and all then? Is it? I thought it was three and all. Was there only two games? Because I didn't get the. Oh yeah, because I didn't get the apple, and then I got the apple. Yeah. Yeah, there's only been two. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not at the races so far. <laughs> yeah, don't let girls. It's crazy, you know. It's crazy just playing a playing a dumb team and then. <laughs> no, dear. Yeah, true. I don't know is true. Yeah, true. Yep, so he's uphill. Good. Oh. All uphill blocks are skulls as well. Nice. Nice. be a little bit greedy here. Will I? How greedy am I willing to be? One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's a GFI, so let's not be greedy at all. Seeing as that's a lineman and not a blitzer. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Only a stun. I heard you had to kill the skinks. That was my drive and... Oh no, he started on zero but he made a cast, surely. That must have been the way. Yeah, just try not to pick the skull. Oh yeah, pick the skull, yeah. <laughs> pick the skull again, right. It's why this is huge, isn't it? Three players out. Right. Even despite that, I hope my one guy comes back. <laughs> Amazing they fail so far if they fail again. He made one out of three. This croc stays out, and the bludge step stays out. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, Rebel probably will be getting about 16, yeah. Yeah, they, they've got to give them that many, yeah, exactly, yeah.
You just kill the crocs against people who refuse to use the alpha, yeah. Yeah, that's... That's wild. I think if he was trying his hardest to win the game, he would have apoed the uh, the first KO'd Saurus. Like, obviously, it was in, like a turn one or two KO'd Saurus. Turn one, I think it was. You apo that every day if you're trying to win at all costs. Um, if you've got a little bit more of a... If you're a little bit more, you know, what's it called, conservative with your apple usage then you would have 100% done it on the first time the, the croc scores out, whether it's a perma or a badly hurt. The only time you wouldn't have appoed that croc is if it was a miss next game. But yeah, LOS block, yeah, I thought it was, yeah. Crazy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I think it's, I think, you know, it's, it's fine, to be honest. The, the way they do it is, yeah, give the big leagues the most qualifying spots. It's fair enough. He does have sidestep, but um, he doesn't have many players and he is stunty. So, like, obviously the dodges are easier through, but it's also hard to pass it. So he's got to rely on a, a good kick, which he got. But still, that's, he's got to either hand it off in two tackle zones or make a... Two GFIs or something. Two, yeah, two GFIs maybe. The last World Cup had X amount from a. Uh, oh God, do you know what movies I should have set up to stop it? Because he hasn't got many players. I thought he didn't have many players, so I didn't bother about it, but. I guess I should have done it. Thank you. Ceremol. Let Ceremol sign out. I'd let BZL, the top 64. Yeah, see, so he's got to make these dodges and GFIs now and then hand it off in two tackle zones or whatever. So he's got to make this one two GFIs. Oh, no, I can block him. I can just block him instead. That's much easier. <laughs> I didn't realise he hadn't moved. Oh god, so he can easily... I can just move him and he doesn't need the extra one anyway. Just blocks him, gets him out to there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. He got a perfect uh, perfect kick, didn't he? No re-rolls as well. It's feeling pretty bad so far, man. Right, just eating something, so I shall be right back.
No, you can have lizards, woodies, undead, um, dark elves, zons, dwarves. They're, they're all capable of winning. That is simply not true. The hater does not support your assertion. <laughs> I don't think that would do my, uh... My newfound reputation that I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to, you know, think, wow, what a, what a brutal fail pickup that was, wasn't it, by the way? Do I hit with block? I guess I do. Do I hit with mighty blow? Yeah. Do I base these guys? Yeah, of course I do. The name of the team is Herb Dirt Base Base Base. How can we call, be called Herb Dirt Base 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 if we don't Herb Dirt Base Base Base? Herb Dirt Base Base Base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Herb He's in there just to make the catcher hard, catch harder. Because now. If the scatters to him, he'll be in two tackle zones, catching on a six. I didn't want to move the Black Hawk in, in case it was only pushed, so I want another chance of hitting him. Oh, oh, oh baby. Oh, baby. My ball. Dickhead. <laughs> 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 that was pretty good. You were staying there for the block after not the catch, but it worked out well. Obviously, having more players around it gives more chance of a scatter as well, obviously. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, the Crocs removal was huge. Yeah, that's true, Jellyl. Yeah, that harms the Delves record for sure, yeah. I mean, if you look at the, uh, if you look at, like, the, the NAF team events, there is always, always a Wood Elf and an Undead team on, on, on the team, you know, 100%. That, that's non-negotiable. You have to have both of those races. And after that, there's different, there's different things you can go with after that point. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. Oh, that's Chaos. Not chores. CD. What <laughs> worse with worse with chores than chaos? <laughs> That's a terrible record, that isn't it? Mine. I, I haven't played that many games. That would that would even out if I played a few more with them. 
Um, no, but again, that's because it, it depends on the format, right? So in, in the format, um, well, first of all, right, first of all, the rankings are skewed by how many games you play with one race. So that's that's an aspect of it as well. Um, but um, basically, yeah, na if, if Dark Elves start with all their skills, they're great. If they if they don't start with all their skills, they're not so great. Um, but but it, it, in the teams, you have to have those two, and everything else is open to it because because after those two in the team, you have to take Undead and what else? There's no choice there. Every every team that's trying to win games has to have those two. Then after that, you've got Dark Elves, Lizards, Zons, Dwarves. You can take any of those, but I think they're the only ones, you, other ones you would take. I guess people who like Norse would take Norse. But if you were trying to win. You would take wood lizards and hope you you hope you didn't face wood elves, dark elves. I guess dark elves would be the solid third pick there. Um, but still, that'd that be the thing of you. You could play the meta game of go dwarves and hope for woodies or uh, zons, go zons and hope to avoid dwarves, or go lizards and hope to avoid woodies and stuff like that. So. Mm. Right. Can hit him with with mighty blow. Let's do that. That's a lineman, so he, he can blitz him. He can blitz him. <laughs> Ugh. Probably shouldn't have even bothered, should I? He's gonna base him. <coughs> oh, oh, base, base, base. He can block and follow, and then he goes one, two, three, four, five. GFI, so that he can two dice him, and then I guess yeah, bring this guy into an eye cage. I oh, yes, Gaven, but no, not really. I don't think. I don't think anyone. I mean, maybe if somebody liked Skaven, they they would. But I don't think they would seriously be considered, or should seriously be considered, in in with those other teams. I should have spent two minutes thinking about whether to use this reroll rather than having to wait the last second. I think I'm gonna, just because last 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 driver didn't need to use any rerolls, so I could, I can afford to play a little bit loose with them. So it does. It does complete the eye cage, which I like. Gets a blitzer back to help if he if he swarms with the skinks, which I guess he's going to swarm with the skinks. They are, but I mean, this is this is you know, Naf style is twelve twenty, right? So um, so twelve twenty is a lot different to uh, to one thousand. Yeah, Orcs get a lot of draws as well. Plus, they're played by a lot of beginners. But they just don't have anything. Yeah, it's just slow. And How do you beat someone who's good? You know? How do you beat someone who's good with Orcs? It's not, it's not easy. <laughs> Whereas, you know, Dark Elves can just... Uh, can just win it, you know. They can just roll some dice, can't they? So. Doubles 30. I mean, uh, there's no, there's and the thing with this NAF thing as well. They're not all the same rules, you know. So you can't draw too many conclusions from the from the uh, things. Yeah, that's it. The other races are overpowered. That's basically it, you know. Lizards get ridiculous, but not always restrictions based on tiers. So um, lizards have overwhelming field control. Wood elves get strip ball dancers. Um, dark elves get six blodge players. Um, 
you know, undead get and uh, un undead get strength five, mighty blow, and and four blodges, but on movement seven, <laughs> and uh, and you know some utility of the tackle or mighty blow or frenzy, whatever. Oh no, base base base, not paying off. No apple there. And uh, dwarves get mass tackle and the ability to fight fight bash teams a little bit with a mass guard. And obviously they've got the best matchup against Wood Elves and Zons, even though it's not that good a matchup. And what do all, what do Orcs have? Well, they're pretty good as long as they don't get removed. <laughs> you know, it's not really uh, it's not really uh, exciting, is it? Right, a two dice block without block. Another two dice block without block, and then a blitz with block or maybe just block him definitely want to assist with him for that block there could potentially blitz this saurus if it's a pow could blitz the skink otherwise could do with a blitzer, so that doesn't have to be him. This is a really good push as well, isn't it? To put them both onto alignment. Get it both down, I don't mind. Right. So on a power we can go for the uh, Saurus. Oh, brutal. Not ideal. I fucked up there, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> don't tell anyone that I fucked up. Yeah, that's the thing. If things go wrong with orcs, you're just done, aren't you? And even if done means a draw, you're still done for winning the tournament. Yeah, draw isn't too bad in a team event. Yeah, that's true, Jelly Deals. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if you can hear or not, but... Yeah, yeah, that that's a valid... Does not die? That doesn't work, does it? Um, what, what's interesting, in 40k... In 40k games... We have a really good thing. Uh, Skaven chosen off the dungeon ball. I don't know what what the exact format is so far. Um, I mean lizards. I don't like lizards for for tournaments like that because, um, yeah, not the game dungeon ball. Like it's just the name of the tournament in Germany. Um, they used to have the final on a custom made board, but now they don't have it anymore. Um, I don't think. I just had it. Yeah, but there's different NAF tournaments, you know. The, not all NAF tournaments are the same. That's that's the thing. Hey, one in nine. Ho ho ho! <laughs> Gator, Gator, don't play no shit. <laughs> I fall <thought> fail. <laughs> and a KO. I'm not gonna laugh for it. The hub dub basing paying off. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's why you save the apple, yeah. For sure. Right, three dice into another three dice. Seems good, doesn't it? Seems good. But is it really? <laughs> well, at least... <laughs> At least nobody died. got a knockdown after after getting a dead Saurus. <laughs> I may may come across as a bit greedy, but um Anyway, last time when I said I fucked up, he could have dodged and made two GFIs to one dice the ball. Which was probably the best chance he was gonna get. Now I can block him, blitz him, and base the ball, but not that I really care about him basing the ball. Um, so yeah, that's okay. Yeah, just kill the Saurus. <laughs> I mean, that is how you beat Lizard Men, just kill the Saurus, because now he can't protect the skins. Yes, exactly, Sergeant Audi, or at least the at least the badly hurt on the crocs. That's the thing, isn't it? The kind of death spiral is pretty bad. Death spiral snowball effect. Whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Yeah, it was funny, wasn't it? Nine dice on that. Took nine dice to get him down and then didn't break his armour when he got down. <laughs> With my e blow. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really moaning. Right, let's see if I can score. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, yeah. So, gotta make the, the push forward now. It's still not easy, even against, even against this few. Saurus. They're still all strength four, aren't they? Oh, he's based the ball. Well done, buddy. Well done, little buddy. You paced the ball. Woo. <laughs> Yay. Right. Hard to get forward. With the black orc, isn't it? But I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to rush too hard and not score. Pretty tough. Oh man, 
If only there was a way to deal with that with that blood stepper who burst the ball. I just don't know. Don't know how that could happen. Alright, now it's gonna be tough to score. Or I can always just hand off to a blitzer anyway. Plenty of time to hand off to a blitzer. Yeah, block break tackle is shit, yeah. The need for GFIs, yeah. <coughs> Yes, exactly, Volpe's in cold there. It does, it does indeed. Like, I've never taken break tackle on a, on a Saurus. I would at high TV, but then I wouldn't get the high TV with Lizards. So, um, it is hard to stop, no matter how much guard. Even if you've got seven, but, it, you know, we, we, could, we, we, could do a, we could do a game, you know, me against Fash or whatever, where we have... Um, you know, seven, seven block guard Saurus against uh, against chaos, and they're still going to get two D. You know, you can't you can't stop it. You actually pitched from the other direction so that I didn't have to move laterally. I was making a, a hard score even harder here. Yeah. Burp, burp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. I don't want to put the ball on the ground. Got to at least make him work for it. Yeah, exactly, Don McKellis, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, Fellaini. But you know, yeah, I've, I've literally never, I've literally never taken a break tackle. Yeah, this, I left this on really. I mean, I kind of had to leave something on, didn't I? Unless I wanted to risk putting the ball on the ground against lizards, I thought at least make him work for it a little bit. He did the right play there for sure. Okay, two dice this lad. Foul him. Just kill the skinks. Oh, I think he does as well, but you know, you can't you can't underestimate the power of claw palm, that's the thing, you know, and, and you can't there's no getting away from it, like, yes, there's games where the claw won't fire, but you basically lose all of the games where claw does fire, apart from the occasional, you know, skink bullshit, and that is the problem that you have. Got to make this block now. The guy on zero. No, the guy on five. 
attacks. I can go for the hand off if I have to. Put two rerolls. I'll go for the two GFIs on him next turn. There's not a, there's not a lot of gameplay. Not not really Vulpies in Cult. There's not there's not much you can do against is is if if whether you're lizards or orcs or another high TV core team. There's not a lot of decision making. You know, there's it just comes down to whose dice work basically. If if you if you lizard men if you saw us down the pitch, then then they're gonna have a hard time. Um, if you guys don't stay on the pitch, you're going to have a hard time. That's really as, as simple as the matchup is, and as simple as basically high TV Blood Bowl is in the Clawcom environment. That just, it just is what it is. Maybe I shouldn't have made this first, but um, especially as Mike picked the score. GG. Um. He can go there in case he falls over in the end zone. Or on the way to the end zone. <laughs> or the in zone, as Fash likes to call it. He did. More path less taken. Uh, still pretty bad, but good enough to play a joke team. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if if the Lizardman coach is terrible, then obviously, or the kid, like if, if one coach is terrible, then uh, they're probably going to find a way to lose. But yeah, assuming between two competent players, it's it's rough, and it's just it's just dice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the guy who's leveled got an MVP anyway. But that's okay. Eleven heavy. I got really lucky on the heavy breaks again. Again, I, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and act like I played amazing now. I just beat the fuck out of him and he didn't use his apple did he? which was uh, a bit <laughs> Gesundheit oh I don't <laughs> sad for me if you want to be part of team positive then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up stop bitching like yeah this is do have a powerful wizard play that's true wolf bark that's true yeah uh, yeah okay well I mean now you're assuming things though you're assuming that they're 150 TV down with an agility force king but yes of course if it but you know, yeah, they can they can things. They can have things. Obviously, they've got you know that, that's on a team by team basis. It's not just a racial matchup, is it? Any team with an agility four player and a wizard has got half a chance on agility five player. I'm tempted to go with Mighty Blood now, just because he's on twelve. But uh, I can't. I can't. I've got one. Ma I mean, I could go Mighty Blow. Yeah, I might just play it safe and go Mighty Blow tackle and then guard on the others. Yeah, okay. Let's let's just go guard. Yeah, exactly, John the Kellis. It's not like they have no chance, but there's a lot of luck involved, I think. Well, not luck. Variance, isn't it? It's variance or whatever you, what you, whatever you fucking, however you want to, however you want to fucking, you know, talk about it. But yeah, they, they shouldn't get to high TV really, this is because they're, they're out of their depth there. Right, 3-0, and oh, pretty good, pretty good start for the uh, Orcs there. <laughs> yeah, the joke org team is basically I mean I did I did uh... <laughs> yeah I know. well it depends how you how you call it isn't it because it's down to how the how the claw pom falls isn't it um... I don't know yeah this is a, this is a joke org team yeah right anyway <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. Stay fantastic.